Guys. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. I am not the single guy. Uh, we have a very special guest in the program. Some of you probably recognize him by his face already. We have Mr. David Hammond on the channel. David, why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? How are you guys doing? I don't know if you would know me by that name. That's kind of like self-developed is my uh, is my rap name. Self-developed, you just, yeah. <laughs> you just blew my cover, bro. Now everyone knows. <laughs> I'm kidding. What's up, guys? How you doing? Cool. Well, it's great to have you, David. So what we're going to be talking about today is a subject that he's talked about a lot. I talk about a lot on this channel as well, too. Probably getting more into a uh, little bit into that realm. And that's really how to be a man, what it means to be a man. And a lot of my clients, they ask me, hey, Lloyd, you know, what are the characteristics? What are the qualities? What are the things that a man does? So in your opinion, David, what do you think that those things are? Absolutely. So first and foremost, guys, if I look tired, it's pretty early. I know I'm Asian, but I just want to get that out of the way. Um, I'm usually not this tired. Anyways, with that said, yeah, guys, so what it means to be a man, this is a great question. This also is not scripted, guys. Like, I had no clue Lloyd was going to ask me this beforehand. That's an amazing question. And to be honest, dude, I'm going to give you a very, like, unorthodox answer. I'm going to give you a very kind of like against the grain, you could say, which really it isn't. I think when you hear that word, like, what was the question? What does it mean to be a man or what are the characteristics? Um, I would say, what does it mean to be a man? Let's start with that. I know it's a very broad question, but I'm right. sure you've got a lot of material on this. Absolutely. So first and foremost, guys, I think the first thing that comes to mind with that is kind of like a very old stereotypical, like lumberjack guy with a massive beard. Like you think I had to think of like advertising, a right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. I'm talking like the big boys, right? Okay, Have an okay, axe okay. in their hand. And I think guys, that's amazing. But in our today's modern world, what it means to be a man, especially with the rise of millennials, myself, like I'm young, I'm 22. I don't know if you know that, but a lot of, we're the generation, Lloyd, if you don't mind me asking, you're like 27, 26, 28. Oh, I'm 29. 29. Okay. You look young. So that's good, man. Um, <laughs> I think the biggest thing to get to the chase guys is not so much, like I always say, it's not so much what you do. Hell, it doesn't even actually matter what you look like. Mustache or not, shaved head, long hair, that actually has very little to do with it. It's the essence. It's who you are, right? So I think masculinity in its purest form, which I like the word masculinity a bit more, is more so living authentically. Meaning, man, look, dude, if you want to learn to make jugs, right? Okay. If you want to learn to make iPhones, if you want to learn to make earphones, dude, if you love fucking painting, if that's authentic to you and you can express that, regardless of how you look, I don't give a fuck if you're six, three, if you're five, two, I don't care if you have shaved head, bro, none of this shit matters. If you can live authentically from that and allow that to pervade, that in my opinion is the most masculine and pure one can get. Yeah, absolutely, dog. And you know, it's funny, you say uh, being authentic, and it sounds like a simple thing. Oh, yeah, of course, everybody can live like that. But most people don't. Uh, most men, they live by the dictations of their parents, of by society around them. They're very subject to that, and they don't live authentically them. So what do you think more guys can do to live like authentically in their life, like, to, to not be subject to these uh, influences? Yeah, that's an amazing question, dude. And it's so true, right? Like so many people say, you see all these little cutesy little posters, right? Like just be you, live free. And it's like, <laughs> man, that's, that's amazing. But when it actually comes down to it, like it's not very simple at all. When you have family, when you have friends, when you have the coworkers, dude, it's, uh, they're like leeches and chains. And that's actually the exact answer I always give. I, I, I truly believe one of the biggest reasons I was able to create this YouTube channel and continue to persevere was simply because I didn't have many, if any, people tell me that I couldn't. And what I mean by this, guys, is I didn't have these so-called toxic friends or leeches dragging me down. Like I always say to clients and you guys that anyways, that's, I'm, I'm talking too much, but misery loves company. Okay. And if people are suffering, they're going to bring you down. This is innate. Okay. If you're drowning in a pool, it doesn't matter what's above you. You're going to grab, I don't care if it's your mom. Your so what I'm saying guys is really guys observe the people in your life, cut them off because if they're not there, those leeches, those people grabbing you down, dude, you'll fucking fly. You're like a balloon. You just snip it and you'll go. It's very organic. So I think that's the answer to that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the influences around you are super important. And unfortunately, I feel like when men are growing up in today's day and age, they don't have a whole lot of say in what their influences are. For instance, the school right. that they go to, their parents, absolutely. you don't really get to choose those things. So it becomes important later on the choices that you make or the people that you spend time with when you're in those environments. Uh, what kinds of people do you think are a positive influence on other people besides rather than a toxic negative influence like you were talking about before? Absolutely. So myself, guys, you know, my father passed away when I was 18. I didn't have too many friends, which was actually a blessing, the friend part. Um, it was just myself, my mother, which I didn't talk to too much, and then a younger brother, which, you know, oh, I mean, wow. okay. it, it kind of is what it is. So for myself, I naturally gravitated towards YouTube, right? Individuals kind of like you and I. And back in the day when I was 15, who actually inspired me was a guy named or a man named Elliot Hulse, right? So this was 
wow, seven years ago. And he, I look, kind of looked at, um, looked at him as my father figure. So to answer the question, guys, the people who I think you can choose. See, here's the beautiful thing, dude. Look, if you have a laptop, a phone, I don't, I don't care. Again, I don't care what family you're in. I don't care where you live in the world. If you have a phone or a laptop, you have access to content like this. You have access to mentors like this. And individuals like that were truly able to transform my life. So use this as resource. And there's no excuse. Dude, I don't care. You know, so many times I'll get clients say like, you know, I was raised without a father. I, therefore I can't A, B, C, D. And it's like, okay, great. So is I, here I am. <laughs> like don't mm -hmm. bullshit yourself. Like you have resources out there. So grab them and really utilize them because they'll, uh, they're free and they'll fucking help. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I think certain guys, you know, they might be stuck in a situation where maybe all their friends or the people around them just aren't a great influence on them. And what I say to those guys is there's usually one or two things that you can gravitate to. You know, if every single person has something that you can learn from. Now, you might not want to learn everything from them. You might not want to learn most things from them, but there's certain things. Maybe they have an expertise in a certain area and you see how they conduct themselves in that area of their life. And I think that can help you out and, uh, you know, progress you forward rather than holding you back and being subjected to the toxic, um, to the toxic things that people around you are doing. You know, one of the, have you read, there's a book out there called the way of men's by Jack Donovan. Have you read that? Book? Uh, dude, I, that was my next audio book. I haven't got, no, I, I dude, it's literally in my library, the way of men. It's like oh, tribe really? members. They're like skulls, right? That's like the front. Yeah. Cover. Yeah. 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 Dude, I bro, got you're in for a treat. Like this yeah. book, like, I've read a lot of books on masculinity and a lot of books on like, you know, psychology and dating and stuff like that. This takes it from a completely different perspective because if you look at a, what a lot of the books are talking about, they say, oh, here's the feminine, here's the masculine. And a lot of times they describe the masculine in terms of the feminine. This book only talks about men in terms of men. So how they raise oh, themselves wow, uh, wow. based off of other men as opposed to, oh, this is going to get help you get girls or this is going to help you be more attractive. Or this is going to like, this is not the feminine. Right. It just talks about men in terms of men. I think that's why it's such a powerful book. So you're for a treat. Dude. Okay, dude, I'm reading it. I just got a free auto, audible little credit yesterday in the email. And I was like, at first I was upset. because I was like, I don't fucking want this. But <laughs> now you just said that way of men. Let's go. Great. Yeah, it's super, super short too. So one of the things they talk about there is they talk about uh, the four pillars of being a man, which is strength courage, mastery, and honor. So those four things, if you have those things, that's part of being a man. And so what I like to talk about with a lot of my students and clients is like, how are you developing those things in your own life? So for you, David, do you think that there are some like baseline qualities that like every guy should kind of have besides authenticity that can help them become more masculine, help them become more manly? Absolutely. So those four characteristics or traits that you just listed, those really, so I think the reason I said authenticity, which initially came to mind is because that you can almost think of it like the pillar, like that's like your Northern star. And those four right. traits along with others are really there to prop that and support that. Cause dude, authenticity, man, if you don't have what you say, it was courage, it was strength, it was honor and loyalty or mastery, uh, mastery, mastery. But buddy, if you don't have that, you are not going to be authentic. You just won't like, it's not going to happen. And I mean, again, you know, you can take this to many extremes and examples, but I mean, you look at guys like you look at prophets, you look at Jesus, you look at like, you know, Muhammad, and I'm, I'm not going to go too down this rabbit hole, but to speak authentically, you're going to need those four. And of course I'm not necessarily comparing us to them, but so to answer your question, are there, okay, stop beating on the bush. Are there any other traits <laughs> I can give right now besides those four, which is mastery, courage, strength, and honor, right? Those are great. Those are great. Yeah. I'm Japanese. So honor that's like in my blood. <laughs> See all the yeah, samurais, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> um, are there any, oh man, those are really good. I would say, I would, I would say loyalty, but I think loyalty comes back to honor and loyalty being to come back to thyself Yeah, to be loyal. Right. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, man, no, if you can do those four, which props up to being authentic, man, you're killing it. You're fucking killing it. So that's yeah. awesome. What does, uh, what does honor mean to you? Because honor is kind of a broad term and honor means something for me, but it, I feel like it has different definitions for other people. So what does it mean with you in your life? Honor. Yeah. Awesome, man. So I think all of us as individuals, particularly men, we all have Northern stars. And I just mean the beat of your own drum, right? A compass, if you will. We all have, we all kind of have um, a direction that we can feel innately, right? I think mm -hmm. honor, man, is not bullshitting that and is continuing to stick to that. And the irony, right? A lot of people will think like, oh, you know, our honor, purpose, they get all these ideas. Like it must be arduous to stick to this. It yeah. must be a pain in the ass. When in reality, it's your, dude, it's your greatest power. It's, it's think of it like a warm hug, like a blanket. When you're in it, when you're in this frame, you just feel pure, right? So I think honor is when we stray away from that, which we all inevitably will, right? It's just bring that back. Honor, yeah. back to that mission, if you will, craft. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I think it comes back, honestly, like honor, for me, it kind of comes back to what you were saying before, which is the authenticity thing. Like you got to really be authentic and you can't be like, and a, a not honorable person will change his opinions and change his thoughts and change what he's saying, you know, be, to, to try and appeal to the other person, you know, like, you know, I think a lot of politicians out there aren't very honorable, you know, and when you do find a politician, or when you do find someone who is honorable, that people, people usually go crazy for them. They usually love them. Um, and so I think- or hate them. <laughs> what? Or hate them. <laughs> Or hate them, or hate them. First and, and hate, then the love. Thing here too is like you're not going to be loved by everybody, and so that's the that's really that, that's really what it comes down to. Is I think a lot of men out there are trying to be people pleasers, and so as a result of being a people pleaser, they stop being honorable. Absolutely, yeah. Well said. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, David, what would you say are some tips that you would give just maybe everyday activities that guys can do to be more of a man? Like, what are some things that you do? Like maybe hitting the gym or something like that? Yeah, absolutely. So, I actually want to bring it back to being honorable, like okay, loyal. I, re I really like that word, honor, right? To come back mm -hmm. to thy craft or thyself. So, some traits to help us uh, get back to that. Number one, yeah, fitness, man. But here's the thing, guys. This is what I always say to clients, okay? It really, again, guys, it doesn't matter what you do. Hell, man, I don't care if you need to sip three, three of these a day. Maybe it's getting on a Zoom call, right, for class every single day. It's picking a few activities, maybe two or three, that no matter what, you stick to every single day. So whether some big common ones are fitness, right? Maybe it's choosing Monday through Saturday. Doesn't matter the weather. Doesn't matter how I feel. Doesn't matter how I look. I stick to that honor. Back to the craft, right? Maybe it's meditating. Maybe it's yoga. Dude, maybe it's going for a walk, right? But if you can pick a few things and continuously just hit that every single day, when it comes back to the bigger mission, right, the compass, whatever it is, it's much easier to adhere to that, right? So uh, to answer your question, fitness, yoga, meditation, walking, like these are some great ones. But again, it really doesn't matter. Just pick some things that really just stick to yourself and stick to that. Yeah. So you mentioned, you mentioned a lot of different great activities, by the way. Um, and you, but you're saying like, if you stick to one again and again, that will help improve your masculinity, like get good at it. Dude, yeah, if you can pick three things that no matter what, man, maybe it's like a YouTube posting schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or maybe it is, again, it really doesn't matter, but if you can pick three things that you stick to and you stick to that, honestly, for about three months, man, if you can stick to three things for three months, fuck, you're a deadly weapon, dude. <laughs> like, you are, but that's not easy. That's not an easy thing to do. So yeah, that'll strengthen it for sure. Absolutely. Dude, I could not agree with you more, man. You said so many things that I agree with you um, on this video call. Uh, do you have anything else, any last pieces of advice when it comes to manliness for our viewers before we sign off? Any last pieces of advice? You know what? Yeah, this is kind of, I wouldn't say this is like a shot to anyone, mm -hmm. but last pieces of advice, guys, I would say don't worry so much about the external don't focus too much on the external the external always comes from the internal does that make sense so this call mm -hmm. was amazing because every quality you just spoke of is all internal honor mastery courage strength there is no external in that shit no one said gold <laughs> no one said chicks liking you no one said money nothing right so i want you guys to really focus and really just cultivate these internal it's not always fun it takes longer at times it's not fun doing the same thing every single day when no one cares when there is no gold when there is no external but i'm telling you guys if you want that external to come which it will period it's not like it works it'll come if you stick to that and if you can do that man in my books like you're killing it so that would be my last piece of advice Dude, that was well said, man. I mean, like, like I say on this channel all the time, it's all about you. Like, forget everything that's happening around you. This is all about you. Your journey is the most important journey in your life, and you should never forget that. So, David, thank you so much for coming on this, uh, this video call, this interview, whatever you want to call it. Um, where can people find you, and how should they contact you? Yeah, absolutely, guys. So, on YouTube, you can just type in self-developed. You can type in David Hammond as well. I mean, they'll both pop up. But yeah, self-developed on YouTube. And uh, that, that'll be a good place to start. You can follow the Instagram from that. But yeah, self-developed. You'll be good. Yeah, is it self-developed without the developed without the E's? Or is you... Okay, you know, good. No, that's the logo. So like when you type it in on YouTube, it's self. Like how you would spell it, self-developed. You okay. type that, you're good. But the logo, yeah, I took out the E's. Oh, okay, all right. I, why I, not? I, 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 <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. gotcha. Perfect. All right, well, yeah, David, thank you so much for coming on this program. Hopefully we're going to talk again soon. If I'm ever in Toronto, I'll hit you up and uh, we should get lunch sometime. Dude, that'd be amazing, bro. When this whole thing passes over, let's have a huge yeah. meetup with all, with all the guys, man, and talk all about this. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it happens soon. Cool. Hopefully. All right. Thanks, you guys. See you.